Hello guys, today we'll be discussing about dental materials, mnemonics from the Dental Pearls, which is the most uh, used book for need and years. So we'll be discussing about the physical properties of dental materials. So chapter 1, physical properties. Since dental material is a very boring topic and it is very vast and we just need to mug up everything. So today I'll be giving you some tips and tricks and some mnemonics how to memorize these kinds of MCQs. So before that, let's look into the mnemonics. For physical properties how to memorize it so you can just imagine that uh, this is a fat girl she's been eating whole day she has had a breakup and she has been eating whole day and she started gaining weight uh, she started gaining a lot of weight and she has become very fat just imagine, imagine that way okay so she's a fat girl in hindi we call fat girl as golu molu Okay, so I'm not here to demean anybody or I, I just don't want to hurt the sentiments of any fat girl. I'm just giving this as an example and as a mnemonics. Uh, my apologies if anybody gets hurt through this video. So this is a girl, Golu Molu. So from Golu, you can remember goal. Now we'll be dealing with the properties of, physical properties of goal, which is a part of dental materials. So since she has had a breakup, we're going to ask this girl to hit some new dude. You don't need to look, run after one guy and cry. So we'll ask this girl to hit some dude. So we'll ask this guy to look for some new dude. No, we'll have to look some, for some new guy in her life. So this is a dude and she's the Golu Molu girl. So hit some dude. So this is the mnemonics for uh, the physical properties of dental materials. I'll explain you later with some MC, MCQs, giving some MCQs. So what happened here is that HT, HIT, HIT. So just look at the red color letters. So, so HT, hardness is equal to tensile strength. Whenever there will be any kind of questions based upon hardness, you can say that hardness is always proportional to the tensile strength. So I'm not giving any kind of concept, how does it work, I'm just giving you some mnemonics and tips because you'll get many other videos where they'll give you the concept what exactly it means by hardness is proportional to tensile strength. So here you can see some, S-O-M-E, just ignore O, it is written in black letter, so you'll just be, just focus on the letters written in red color. So stiffness equal to modulus of elasticity. So whenever questions will come regarding about stiffness, you will just say modulus of elasticity. Stiffness is always equal to modulus of elasticity. And dude, so here you just ignore the UD, you can just see D and E. So whenever there will be question upon density, suppose what is the density of goal related to? What is it proportional to? So the density will always be equal to elongation. So let's go to some MCQs where we can apply these mnemonics. So you can see here, question number 10. Brinell hardness number of a dental goal alloy is directly proportional to its number A tensile strength, B elongation, C modulus of velocity, modulus of resiliency in D. So what is the question here? Here you can see Brinell hardness number. So we can also see here C. This is the Brinell hardness number. So just this, this is enough. So you can see the Brinell hardness number. So here you can see that the answer for this Brinell hardness number is tensile strength. As I've said that hardness is equal to tensile strength heat. So, Brinell hardness number of a dental goal alloy is directly proportional to its tensile strength. It won't be elongation because elongation will be related to density equal to elongation dute. So, now we'll go to other question likewise. So, this is question number 10. I have taken this question from Dental Pulse 10th uh, edition. So, the stiffness of a dental goal alloy is determined by its. I have already told you that stiffness is equal to modulus of elasticity. See. SOME heat some dude SOME stiffness equal to modulus of elasticity so whenever question will come about the stiffness of dental goal alloy then you have to say modulus of elasticity how will you remember it is about goal I have told you that this girl has turned into golu so golu molu so this is the question and we have some more questions so ductility represents percent elongation as I have already told you dude D U D E D N E you can see in the dude where I have written D U D E. So ductility represents percent elongation question number 60. And in question number 18, you can see ductility of a material is a measure of its grain elongation. So this type of questions usually it comes in M's. What is this? Uh, the pattern for M's MDS has changed. So this is also very helpful. And this has come in APPG 2016. And this was a recent question in NEET 2018 as well. So here how will you see? The match the following and choose the best combination. Here you can see in A, B, C, D. So in my mnemonics I have talked about ductility and about 
hardness so how will you remember that first of all you just see because from here you know about ductility and hardness so ductility we have already discussed it as dude uh, d u d e so density is always equal to elongation so here density so search here p q r s where elongation is written you can see in s relative inability of a material to elongate plasticity under a tensile strain so ductility is always equal to elongation proportional so here b will match which one a b c d so ductility is equal to so ductility will be so b is matching the s so in a you can see that question number b here a it's given p and in b it's given b is given in s r b r so if the, the, the definitely ductility is not change in dimension per unit initial dimension so b will not be the answer and in c again b is given as p so we already know that for ductility the answer is there like something related to elongation so p is also a resistance of material to plastic deformity so from here you can see in the d question number d will be the answer c b here b is equal to s in question number uh, sorry in answer number d b equal to s so ductility is equal to relatively inability of a material to elongate plasticity under tensile strain so from this you can know that even if you know one answer for this suppose you know ductility then it becomes very easy for you thank you guys so these are the mnemonics and so if you want more uh, if you want some more videos please do like subscribe and share and comment thank you guys for watching